Install the control panel. A qualified and licensed electrician should install the panel and wiring in compliance with all codes. Complete wiring instructions are supplied with the control panel. Do not install the control panel against the wall of a living space as it makes a periodic thump during operation. Install the control panel on two posts or against the garage wall instead. Screw the panel onto the posts at eye level. Read the instructions clipped on the inside door of the control panel and plan your wiring layout. If necessary, you can use a stepped bit to drill a hole in the fiberglass panel enclosure for an additional conduit hub. Run conduit from the splice boxes on the tank riser and the pump basin to the control panel. The conduit hubs on the splice boxes accept 3 quarter inch conduit directly. 1 inch conduit can be attached using a coupling. Typical installations require the use of only one conduit hub. Close the other hub by gluing in the supplied plug with PVC cement. You'll also need conduits for the phone line and the power line from the house. Pull the necessary number of wires through the conduits from each splice box to the panel. Also pull the phone line and power line from the house to the panel. Push the float and pump cords through the cord grips on the inside of the riser into the splice box. The identifying tags on each cord will fit through the cord grip if you wrap them tightly around the cord. Allow about 12 inches of cord inside the splice box for making connections. If any cord grip is unused, fill it with the plug supplied with the splice box and tighten the cord grip. Neatly wrap the cords inside the riser and secure them with the hook and loop tape on the splice box. Connect the cords to the wires from the control panel using the waterproof wire nuts supplied with the splice box. In the splice box, seal around the wires in the conduit hub or hubs with an electrically approved sealant. Neatly coil the wires in the splice box and screw on the lid. Back at the control panel, connect the wires from the conduits to the appropriate terminals following the diagram supplied with the control panel. Slip electrically approved tubing on the phone line to separate it from the other wires in the control panel. Crimp an RJ11 connector onto the phone line and plug it into the phone jack on the board. Seal around the wires where they enter the control panel. Before you leave the site, make sure the panel is functional. Check all connections and close the panel. Then follow the startup instructions in the installation guide that comes with the system.